right guys, we got all the little tidbits buttoned up, getting ready to start it up. We got oil in it, but cool in it. And uh, yeah, let's see if she fires up. All right guys, so we had a super successful day. We did the first startup. Everything went really smooth. The engine sounds really good. Now we have to get the car on the dyno. We're gonna see what it makes. And then we're gonna take the car to our annual Street Kings event at Bradenton Motorsports Park. Hey guys, this is Michael Thomas, the shop manager with Real Street Performance, and behind me is the TRC RSX. Uh, as you know, last week we actually got the car started, and there were a couple of things that we really had to button up with it. Uh, some things with the fuel system, some coolant stuff, and some wiring. So we got all that buttoned up, we're getting it ready. We actually have it here on the dyno behind me because we're going to dyno it today, and we're going to turn it up and get it ready for the TRC Street Kings event. Uh, So we just finished up with the TRC RSX. Car actually made 507 horsepower at 314 pound-feet of torque. We stopped it around that number because we have to remember this is a stock motor right now and a stock transmission. So keeping it around that power level should keep it really fun for him. Just Honda things. Three rips. <laughs> yep. Just just Honda things. I mean, honestly, this thing 
is making over 500, and yeah. the boost obviously spiked higher than it did on the dyno. So these transmissions aren't really known for holding much more power than like four or 500. And, so, I, and I will say, she's ripping. Let's go ahead and stick her in third here. Let's just go ahead and triple confirm. All right, I'm gonna hold it in. Let's see like close speed. Maybe like a shifter cable or something. Like oh, no, just yeah, yeah, it just lost it again. Hmm. Well, I'm glad we got to make it rip though. Yeah, yeah, this thing is a blast this thing already. Moves, man. bro. Yeah, I can't even imagine this thing all-wheel drive. It's gonna be so fun, man. Because once you hit third, you keep Yeah, it. Oh yeah. Hey guys, we're back here at Real Street Performance with the TRC RSX behind me. Uh, Javier got to drive it around a little bit and had a little bit of an issue with second gear where it didn't want to go in, but we figured out that that was actually the linkage. It's fixed now, it's on the lift, and we're actually about to give it its all-wheel drive transformation. So we have the all-wheel drive transmission here, we have the transfer case, the differential, and the new subframe going in. So let's get started. Sure, we got sure. the uh, all-wheel drive trans already ready to go. That's right, Honda CRV all-wheel drive transmission. We're going to do a tear down today and inspection. And, awesome, um, man. Yeah. Well, walk us through, I guess, the, the process of what, what we're going to go through. All right, so first I'm going to remove all of the accessories, the shifter mechanism, the speed sensor, remove the transfer case, brackets, and um, remove the detents. Then we're going to remove the casing. And then once that is done, then I'm going to inspect the interior, make sure everything is nice, and I'll give you guys more information when I get to that part. All right, so about to start the teardown process. This is the 2003 Honda CRV transmission. Um, first thing I do is remove all of the exterior components before I actually get into it. So let's start by taking off the bracket. 